Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of our integration podcast. Uh, my name is Mattia Maggioli, and today I'm joined once again by Drob Bagari, who developed this integration POC between Forcepoint CASB and Azure Active Directory. This integration POC enables risk adaptive authentication policies into Azure Active Directory, where the risk score used to adapt those authentication policies is the one calculated by Forcepoint CASB for every user based on their activities. Lo, over to you. Okay, now I am in uh, my Azure Active Directory and I have a set five groups. I have a, a risk level one up to risk level five and each risk level is being associated with a, a set of policy for user authentication. Now, if you go to CASB, let's say the risk score for some users. Like for example, this user is penny, its risk score is uh, 1761. So we start with the config file. So basically the Azure uh, group names, we specify the group's names for the risk level, separated by comma. And then we range, uh, we map each range of the risk score to a risk level. For example, from 100 to 200 has been uh, mapped to the risk level one. So these values, they can be modified or they can be removed or they can be added, it's up to the user. And then uh, we need uh, a login in information to CASB. That's the username and that's the password. And basically we can set uh, this variable to be true. Uh, and if it's true, it will terminate the user session if the session is active. And the termination will happen if the risk score is being changed for the user. And then we specify a time, and this time is five minutes. So after each five minutes, our integration is going to go to CASB and pull the risk score and try to find if a user has risks being changed or not. Okay, so the names of the risk groups uh, don't really have to be risk underscore level something. Uh, the user can actually use any of the existing Azure groups. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, as much as they, they are matched, Whatever name is in here, that should be existing in Azure. Okay, and That's the all. mapping between the ranges and the group names is to provide customers with the ability to map whatever risk score the users have into discrete levels that are used to trigger the change into the groups. Yes, yeah. So it's a very short but powerful uh, set of uh, settings that are necessary to trigger this integration. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, and even when the integration is running, if the customer need to change the configuration, they don't need to stop the services and all they need to open this file and apply their changes and save it. And everything will be picked up automatically. Okay, now I'm gonna start the service. And that's basically, is gonna download the Docker image and run it. So this is the Docker implementation, but I believe we also have the traditional package, which is an archive that can be used into any Linux machine. Yeah, we have that one as well. Now, Lo, CASB might identify a number of uh, usernames that are not uh, only from the Azure Active Directory. So how do we make sure that we are only triggering this automation for users that belong to the Azure Active Directory? So for each account, we find a maximum its risk score. And then for each login name for that account, if the login name, it's Azure login name. So we go to the Azure and we apply the policy to Azure. So basically this integration will look for all accounts. And if yeah. the same person has multiple accounts, uh, you get the credentials for Azure and apply the risk associated with the higher risk score. Yeah, exactly. Very clever. Okay. So on here, I've been asked for my uh, Azure administrator account. The username and then I will be asked for my password before we run this one let's we can just log into Azure with different account so that's the account it's for penny so as we see the login was okay normal so let's run the application now the risk level will be pulled, a risk score will be pulled from CASP and we find if any user is, is matched, we can see that user is existing Azure and its risk level is being changed to the risk level five and it has a activating session and which activated session is being terminated. So if you back to this, this account, we just try to move something 
and as you can see the session be terminated so the user has to log out and log in so basically let's do that And as we see, has no access because the risk, the risk level has been applied to it. It's five, risk level five, and risk level five is being configured to block the user. Basically. Okay. Now, an administrator or a security person might be interested to understand what happened that contributed to the increase in the risk level. Now, there is one level of visibility that comes from the reporting of first point case B. But Azure Active Directory might have also other events that belong to Azure. So is it possible for the administrator of the IT at customer premises to have uh, insights into what we can uh, understand from Azure logs? Yeah, we do, yeah. So to, the, to see the Azure logs, we have another container. It's called the Azure logs. Uh, currently, it can just extract the sign-in logs from the Azure. We can define the time, a range of time to, to download all the logs from a specific range of the time. And you can change the output to JSON or to YAML. And as well, we can save the, the, uh, the output. And as well, we can filter by username, by the email address, or by multiple email ad addresses uh, separated by comma. Yeah. Yeah. So can we see an example of the output from this tool? Uh, the log? Uh, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going. I'm not. I'm not going to give any flags. I'm going to just download the whole logs from uh, Azure. So once we run this one for first time, it's going to ask for email address and password. And if you run it again, it will not ask. As long as we have a a, a session with uh, with Azure is active. Yeah. Basically, that's what it does. It can ex extract any range of uh, of the logs from Azure, by filtering them by time, or filtering them by user, and saving them in a file. So thanks a lot for uh, this demo. Now, just a quick recap uh, of this POC. Uh, this integration POC enables risk adaptive authentication policies into Azure Active Directory, where the risk score used to dynamically adapt the authentication policies is the one calculated by Forcepoint CASB for every user based on their activities. The mapping of the risk score into the Azure groups uh, is configurable, and we can also terminate the active session of the user in case of increase in the risk score. Uh, to facilitate forensic activities, we also provide a common LIDEN tool to extract selected Azure logs so they can be analyzed offline. So thanks again, Edlo, for another great POC. Thank you, Matthias. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this episode of the Integration Podcast and stay tuned for more episodes.